Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. Today I'm just doing a little experiment. I like to just kind of mess around and come up with ideas and then ask Char, who is working on the Convoy add-on, are these things possible? Uh, so for example, I was messing around with the Morse code and then I sent him some samples and said, this is the idea I have. And he kind of gave me feedback on that. And so this is another idea I am curious about. And this one is just for me. I don't think it would work in a Convoy add-on but it's kind of interesting. I've always wanted to kind of do it, so I did it, and here are the results. All right, so this is the Frantic Matty ship hole, and I actually chopped it off, and it was actually quite a bit, uh, I guess, deeper, or what do you want to call it? Higher, deeper, deeper, depth. What is that called? Height of the ship. I know there's a term for it. I can't think of it. But anyways, it was a, a much deeper ship. So I cut it off because I wanted these sides to be flat because I wanted to try something and let's see if I can get on top. Does this actually work? I think you need two minimum, right? Anyways, if we jump up here, boop, you will see we have the screen. And what I wanted to do was, can you make a kind of like a damage detection system? Now I think you can do it if you were really good with add-ons, you could probably create something that checks for damage, but I don't know if you can like specify where the damage on the ship you could like just as a whole, I think with the add-on uh, Lua, you can check for damage if there is any damage at all, if that makes any sense. But what I want to do is like, can I do like the starboard and port side and kind of show damage? So I'm just going to go ahead and show you what I came up with just for fun. And I'm going to go down here and I'm just going to put one right there. I'm going to come over here and put one over there and I'm gonna come on this side over here and put one right in the middle maybe like down there okay let's jump back up all right I got my little boom boom here three two one ouch that hurt but check this out uh, I'm black and white but as you can see there's like on the left side the starboard side wait starboard is right I think I got my sides mixed up <laughs> <laughs> left is port and starboard is right but I screwed it up so anyways my my sides are wrong but this is the port side this is the starboard side yeah that makes sense and so anyways there's damage on the side here you can see the damage right there you can see the damage right there and if we look at the ship it's got the damage showing actually quite a bit farther back than I would think well, that's interesting let's see Oh yeah, okay, there's a whole front side there that's not damaged. Okay, that makes sense now. I thought it was too far back. But yeah, anyways, so it shows you the damage. And then over here, these are only slightly damaged, so the things will blink. And that's because all of this damage detection is being done with, of course, microcontrollers. So if we go down into the hole, where's it at? Let's go here. I just made the wall along this side just microcontrollers. And... I will show you how it works. Oops, we're starting to sink here. But yeah, both sides are microcontrollers. And uh, I considered like adding one like in the very front. So you could detect like if you hit something in the front, it would detect it. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to show you this part. So let me just show you how I created this just in case you want to screw around with it. I'm sure it has some practical uses for something. Maybe not a World War II ship, but it still looks kind of cool, right? Just for an idea of damage, maybe on a like a spaceship or something. I don't know. Maybe someone's already done this before and I never noticed, but it's just something I want to try. So let me show you what I did. All right, so now we're in the editor. I'm just going to show you real quick what I did. So if we come over into this view, you'll see that all of these are microcontrollers. And the microcontrollers, if you look inside, all it's doing is sending a constant on signal uh, out on a node. And what I have is these two that are kind of protected in here. Uh, one for the the uh, port side, one for the starboard side. And if we look at it, it is just a bunch of inputs. No big deal, right? And then, of course, we come in here and we'll see that boop, 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 boop. all the inputs are coming in. And this is my just my graphics. And then we come in here and then we see that it's just getting all the booleans. And then we are drawing the square on if it's not true. So if D1 is not true, if D3 is not true, which basically means if the microcontroller is damaged, if D13 is damaged, it will stop sending 
a true signal, and so we'll get a false, and so we draw the circle that is damaged. That's it. It's pretty simple. Uh, if we go over to Photoshop, just real quick, you can see that, uh, let me make that bigger. Um, I just took a screenshot of the ship, and I put it left and right side, and then I went through and drew some outlines, and then I just kind of calculated how many my controllers go across, and just added the blocks. Then, of course, I went to Mr. Lens Tool, and I put my monitor size, and I kind of drew out the outline, and then I drew the boxes, and that's where I separated. And that was pretty much it. This is kind of just a quick little test. It's pretty cool, I think. So anyways, let's spawn the boat really quick again. What is that? Well, that's on... Oh, I died. That's on my stuff. Give me my stuff! I want that, and I want the ammo. Oh, look. Is that new? Did it always say you couldn't fire underwater? Like that little X? I feel like that's new. I've never seen that before. Anyways, let's go ahead and just shoot a few of these and see how it works. So, if we just kind of shoot the block. Duh, duh, duh. Let's see here. Okay, so only one took damage. Okay, let's go back over here real quick. One, two. Oops, I can't see. So, I guess the one problem with this idea is if you take any damage at all, well, no, I mean, it's blinking. But I wonder if, like, it might be better to have these in by one block and have, like, an outer block. And so if you actually get through the first layer, then it shows this damage. And that way you could get a more accurate... Because I don't know, is it... Does it mean if I damage with the machine gun that there's holes? I don't... I don't know. I don't have a water thing in here or a uh, water meter in here. But I don't know. See, they're damaged all the way through here. And it seems to me that this would be like really minor damage and you might not want to report it. So maybe, yeah, maybe the microcontrollers go in by one block. I don't know. This is just a dumb idea. Uh, I thought I would try. And so I tried it. And now I can pretend like I actually finished something and uh, call this done. So anyways, this was just an interesting idea that I had the other night and I wanted to give it a try. So let me know in the comments below if you've done something like this on your vehicle with detecting damage and also if there's a better way to do this because this is just something that came to my mind last night and it seemed like an easy thing to do. So I did it. So anyways, that's it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell. Whoops, hit the bell. So it goes... Ding dong! And let me go ahead and... Wait, I need a connector. I need a boom boom. Give me that. Let's do it underneath here. Boop! Boop! Uh, what was I telling you to do? Hit the bell? Yeah, yeah. So it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, uh oh! Please consider doing so. And I will see you next time. I just want to see how much damage this thing does. Ready? And go! Look at that! It's amazing! Damage detector. You can download it in the description below if you want to check it out. Or whatever. I mean, you can make this yourself, but yeah, actually, I'm not gonna upload it. Just yeah, you just just try it yourself. Let me know. Okay? Yeah. All right. I think we're done. We're still here. You can click away now. Go watch another video. No, really. There's nothing. There's nothing else to do except look at blinking lights. You're still here. Really? All right. I'm just gonna stop recording. Bye!